Peace, peace and blessings. Hey, welcome back for another great episode of The Square Table. We come be back on your square only at The Square Table with myself, celebrity interviewer. I said it in the legendary Mimi Acosta. Man, today we got another great show. But first, let me tell you why I'm breathing so damn hard and I'm losing my breath. Man, I ain't as young as I used to be. You know what I'm talking about? Man, I just had to run across the street because, you know, I forgot my um, my hater shades. So, you know what I'm saying? I had to go and get them. You know what I'm saying? I can't go live without them. You know what I'm talking about? This is how I ride. But with that being said, man, we got some more great guests for you today. Man, you know what I'm saying? Very talented. We got actually two talented artists in the building today. You know what I'm saying? One's both actually international artists, to be um truthful. But um, first, I'm going to bring in the first guest. Um, and by the way, the legendary Mimi Acosta, she'll be joining us halfway through the show. So, you know what I'm saying? Hold your seat as I bring in the famous Nene, Big Nene Lioness. Peace, Queen. Welcome to the show. Hey, how are you? What's going on out there in Chicago? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm good. I'm great. I'm grateful. How you feeling today? I'm feeling good, actually. I'm at peace and... You know, that's the motto, the peace thing with me. And I'm, I'm just great to be on your show. Thank you. Always grateful for your time. You know, we're going to turn up today. And man, with that being said, let me bring in the international famous um, singer, ladies man, sensational song, Kisses. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to find that on storage. I'm trying to tell you. Needy got that song. Ooh, we it go crazy, too. Let that be known. But yeah, let's bring you in my brother Sean. Welcome to the show, brother. Hey man, thanks for having me, man. Appreciate you as always. And I can't wait to rock out that um I can't wait to rock out that pre Mother's Day show for you, brother. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. Oh yeah, that's, that's gonna go super yeah. crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm working yeah. hard, working on getting some um sponsors, you know what I mean? Um, and just anything that we can do to really embrace the mothers, you know what I'm saying, since it's pre Mother's right. Day. Um yeah, but I'm grateful for you and your time, man, today as well. Yeah. No problem. Man, you know, we got a we got a hot topic today. You know what I'm saying? Actually, the name of the topic is remaining original despite. You know what I mean? But before we actually get into that, um, we need to go round table and just you know, could you all just remind them who you are and how they can support your platform? Um, I'm gonna start with Nene. Please, Queen, go ahead, let them know exactly, you know, what they need to Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, what's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Big Mimi Linus, Fleet DJ's host. Um, we worldwide connected. We are the biggest DJs in the whole world. So, if you're an artist out there and you need to get some music out there, get at your girl, Big Mimi. Um, I'm also a recording artist. I do RB and hip hop, as well as Southern Soul RB, hip hop on the Southern Soul side. I can't forget about my comedy. Of course, I'm goofy. I do comedy. As well, um, also have a platform called Raw Feelings. I'm the CEO and the founder of Raw Feelings. We interview uh, different genres of people, people that has different businesses. You don't necessarily have to be an artist, but if you have something going on in your life that you like to promote, then um, you know you can have it up on As well as I'm the co-host for uh, um, New Music Thursdays for Minnesota Radio, KMPH uh, Radio out there in Minnesota. And let's not forget, let's forget the Fleet DJs again. I gotta say it again. I'm a Fleet DJs host, so that's me. You can find me on Facebook as Big Mini Linus, B I G M E N E space Lioness, or on Facebook Lioness Woods, Lioness the space in the woods. That'll be for Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, and as well for Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, Big Mini Linus. Thank you for having me on the show. Represent uh, Stephanie Batiste production. My manager, Stephanie Batiste. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That order. And let's not forget, she's a beautiful mother, too. You know what I'm saying? As we're approaching Mother's Day soon. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's not forget about that. But, man, um, thank you for that, Nene. Big Nene. Um, next, man, Sean. Yo. Please tell them, tell them, man, more about you, where how they can support you, and, you know, where you from. Okay. All right, well, my name is Sean White. You can catch me at all social media. I am Sean White. That's I am S E A N W Y T. I'm a singer songwriter. You know what I'm saying? 
what I bring is that authentic R and B. You know what I'm saying? The R and B that you, you know what I'm saying, that you that you're missing, that's what I'm giving. You know what I mean? So uh got a lot of things lined up, you know what I'm saying, including your show. Got a lot of things in ink, but not signed yet. So, you know, we just working, staying uh, under the radar. So, you know what I'm saying, we we're gonna present it. You know, I just dropped the album in uh June of last year, so I'll be uh looking to drop an album mid uh spring uh summer. So, you know. Let's get it. That's I am Sean White on social media. Thank you. Thanks for having me, brother. Uh, you already know it's one love all day, my brother. You know what I'm saying? Proud of both of you. Um, man. So let's get into this. You know what I'm saying? So again, the name of the topic today is remaining original despite. And so when I came up with this topic, both Mimi and I, you know, we was just kind of thinking like, you know, me, um, it's so many people that would become, you know, in the world, let's just start here. The world is based on very little leaders, a whole lot of followers, you know what I'm saying? That's what help makes the world go around. And we got to respect the followers because if it wasn't for the people that follow, you know what I mean? And the people that help the people that are the business owners like ourselves and the leaders of, of the of the communities and, and uh, entertainment and things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't have a support system, you know what I'm talking about? But with that right. being said, it's hard to sometimes remain original. But when it comes to just remaining original, I always try to think like I just stay simple. Keep it simple. That's what I always think. Because when I start off um, in the industry, I start off as a writer because I'm a spoken word artist as well. So um, I used to just write too complicated, try to put the biggest words in my poetry. You know what I'm saying? And then one of my guys told me, like, Mike, just slow down, say less. You know what I'm saying? And so mm -hmm. from that point on, everything that I create, whether there's flyers, whether um, events that I try to coordinate, you know what I mean, or even a poem, I just remind myself, keep it simple, because simple works. You know what I'm saying? And as an example, Stan by Eminem, you know what I mean? His biggest selling song ever, you know what I'm saying, worldwide. And as we know, that dude's a great lyricist. But yet, Stan is his biggest track. And so that's just say a lot right there. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And, um, so sh sh shout out to just the people that, you know what I mean, work hard, go hard. Just remind you all, just, man, keep it simple. And it's, and it's going to turn out great. You know what I'm saying? Just have a plan and a mission behind it. But yeah, that's how I just kind of help myself to stay original despite the outside influence and of what other people are doing. Um, man, Nene, how do you? Stay original, you know what I'm saying? Despite talk to them. Um, but you know, um I'm, I'm one of them people, I don't I don't look to the left or the right <clears throat> when it comes to people's uh situations. So I stay original just by focusing on my my path, my way, and how can I create it on my path? How can I use my creativity to put light to my path or bring energy to my path i mean it might sound a little selfish but it's not selfish it's just that when you're trying to be original most people fall off originality by looking with tom over here doing or what uh keisha over here doing they lose originality because now they're trying to be what they see on the left or for the right and instead of them just focusing on their path, then, I mean, originality would be hard for people like that, but such as myself, I try to uh, stay authentic all the way around the board, even in like relationships or the music industry or the comedy industry, or even, you know, just doing things that I do. I try to stay original all the way around the board because that's, um. It's very important. And honestly, I don't even know how to be anyone else but me. I'm a Pisces, so being anything uh -huh. outside of that would fit me in life, period. It that, that even comes to my friends, though I said. That even comes to my friends. Like with yeah. my friends, they, they gonna get what they see. They're not gonna get somebody that's gonna make up something. This is what you get. Now you might get this alter ego today. I'm not saying you won't get the alter ego. Cause you're gonna catch the alter ego it depends on what platform i'm doing but it's still going to be original art to ego but it's going to be an art to ego if that makes sense oh yeah, yeah i hear you and i see you 
But now I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Um, that brief description, you know, we're going to continue to just get into this topic. But um, man, Shine, you know what I mean? Brother Shine, uh, what does this mean to you today's topic? Remain an original despite. I believe that originality is key. I mean, as I listen to the radio, I don't want to say which genre, but you hear this uh, artist sound like that artist, like, yo, it's like, you know, and it makes me go back to the old music, to the older music and appreciate it even more. So when I, when I, when I think about being original, I think about, you know, just like when I'm recording, I like to, when I'm in a recording session or I'm in a recording time in my zone, I try to stay away from listening to anybody and just make sure that I'm giving out the best of me. So, you know, um, Originality is such a great thing. You don't want to have a, if everybody was the same, the, the world would be dull. You don't see everybody wearing these type of clothes. Uh, they doing this and then the other. So originality is great. I mean, if you could be a little different, you know what I'm saying? Um, don't be afraid to be different. You know what I'm saying? Um, being different is something that's, that we're lacking right now. So, you know, this I think is a great uh, subject. So. Yeah, no, man, absolutely, man. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Your mm -hmm. opinion on that. And man, you know, um, it's, it's just so unique on how, you know, we, we have the opportunity to, you know, once to just be the, you know, what I mean, a person that can have the ability because that's where it really started. Like, first, listen, that better be known. We're all gifted. So when we're speaking about being original, we making it sound easy, but it's really not easy for the next person as it is easy for us because we've been very gifted. We're blessed people, you know, what I'm saying very talented individuals. So. With that being said, you know what I mean? Sometimes keeping it original is harder for the next person. They don't know where to start. You know what I'm saying? All they do is know how to, you know what I mean? Watch what's on TV, hear what's on the radio, and use that as their um their drawing board or their platform. Um, I believe that um I believe that being original comes from um, you know, trial and error as well. I mean, because you know, you're doing such a thing for a long time, you get better at it. You get better at it being yourself, being better at creating from your own thoughts and your own ideas and not having to actual, because uh, it's a lot of uh, formula writers out there that will listen to songs and write songs based off the, the song that's already out there. I mean, so I think it comes from trial and error, you know, to make yourself and you know better and better at being original. Yeah, yeah I love that. I love that. I, you know, I really agree. I'm sorry. No, no, I keep going, say, keep it going. Say that again, you hit broke up. up right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was saying I, I I was saying I totally agree with him on that because um if you are original, I want to piggyback off what he said. If you keep it original, that gives you more of an opportunity, more of a, a bigger window to create, you know what I'm saying? Because now you're not going off what Rhonda, Rhonda Voos is doing, and now you're not trying to create right. from around what they're already created. So when you come original, it gives you more of a bigger window to use your own thoughts and your own, you know, your own energy into it. So that's just to take it back off of what um, Sean said. That that makes a whole lot of sense right there. Absolutely. No, I, I love both of what both of you all are saying. I'm so inspired today. You know what I mean? And you know what I mean? When I try to use like example like flyers is a good example for me to use for today's topic you know what i mean sometimes people be having trouble um something to say about my flyers and it's all love because we have our reason for opinion but with that being said my whole mind behind when i create is man we in 2024 why i'm gonna try to make something look like it's 1995 or even 2001 or 2022 we supposed to be evolving we supposed to be advancing you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stay original and I'm creating my own template when it comes to just, you know, embracing whatever the show is. So like, as I'm grateful to be doing the show that I'm um, trying to be the headliner of, then, you know, with that, I'm just thinking like how to embrace his energy, the the comedian Felice, shout out to Felice Energy and Shantae Renee, who's the host energy, you know what I mean? And try to put that all together and knowing that it's a Mother's Day show, the name of the show, trying to in, in um invite the title in in a visual form you know what I'm saying it's called high frequency sounds so i have like some frequency type of graphics going on with it so that's my way of just staying original you know what i mean um just when again can you all continue to just elaborate when you in the studio perhaps um you know how that um transitions over the um track um 
Okay, well, with me, uh, if you want me to go first, who want to go? You want to go first? Go ahead, young lady. You can. You got it. <laughs> you can go ahead. Can okay. you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, for us, like, being in the studio and stuff, um, for us originally in the studio, I just feel like as long as the producer created the right type of energy to be in that beat that he gave me, He's definitely gonna get originality on that beat. And I, me personally, I go into a tunnel vision when I'm in a studio. And so it's like, I'm not thinking of no one else. I'm literally going inside that beat as if it was a movie. So therefore, so it's like, it's nothing but original thoughts. Thinking like if I was gonna be a superhero in a movie, or I was gonna be jacking in a movie, or I was gonna be whatever in the movie, like, how can I rap, uh, put my original stunts to this situation? So when I'm in the studio, I go into a tunnel vision. I have a whole tunnel vision with the booth. Even when you go in a booth, like you you literally, like I'm speaking for me personally, when I go into the booth, even though I'm hearing a track, right? You know I'm hearing a track. Mm -hmm. When I go, so the moment I step into the booth, I'm thinking, this is my world. I'm in a tunnel vision. This is all I see. The mic is more like, like, oh, my enemy, like the op, and I'm in the op face, just giving them. And <laughs> that's where the originality when it comes to me. I don't know. That's just me, though. <laughs> I, love yeah, I, like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Hero analogy. <laughs> yeah. Well, with me, you know, uh, I'm so confident that I'll be able to get my point across when I'm writing a song that, um, you know, I just, uh, you know, believe in what I'm writing, believe in what I'm, uh, uh, you know, arranging, and uh, I just go from there. I mean, like I, I said again, it all go back to uh, the trial and error. You know what I'm saying? You get more confident as you practice and practice on your craft. So, you know what I mean? I mean, practice on your craft gives originality, and it also, you know, when you go into the booth, you got to have that so a sense of uh, confidence as well. You know, like uh, with, with her, was the lioness was saying she liked to uh, visualize herself as a superhero or this and that and the other. You know what I'm saying? And that works. That may work for her. Uh, with me, I go in here with a clean mind slate and knowing that whatever whatever subject I'm writing about is going to be uh, clearly given and clearly understood when I uh, when I uh, finish with it. So, right, and that's you know maybe the difference between you know um, an R and B and a hip hop track. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's why I respect so much both of you all's opinions on this, you know what I mean, when it comes to how you all um, just put out that great originality over the track, you know what I'm saying? Um, sad note, I want both of you all to real quick talk about, you know, because that song Kisses, you know what I'm saying, is off the chain, brothers. It's a classic track, for real, for real, you know what I mean? Obviously, I've been listening to r and I've been around for over 40 years. I've heard yeah. the best of the best, and that's top tier. And it's, along with Ooh Wee, that track, you know what I'm saying? That just make you want to jump around. You you feel it in your soul. I'm have to I'm, I'm have to check that ooh we out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that ooh we out. out. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna check it out as soon as I get off. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out. Listen yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even the person that dance and stuff like that. I'll be on some laid back crap, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm, I'll, I'll, man, I just wanted to move my body a little bit. I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Really like, man, like I feel like I can't just be in the house watching. Listen to this. I gotta go outside. So man, um, feel good, feel good music, man. For real, yeah. That's what this new. That's what this new album that I'm that I'm presenting. Maybe uh, late spring, early summer is about that. So you know how you like kisses. The whole format where you could dance and it's about uh, love and it's about you know happiness and all that. This whole new project that I'm working on is going to be catered to that sound. So you know what I'm saying you know where you can dance to it, where you can skate to it, all that type of stuff. That's that's the vibe that I'm feeling as I'm recording right now. So. You know, hey, I want Linus. I want you to check me out because I'm definitely gonna check you out. Uh, yeah, is your your music um your music is everywhere, right? You 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 can find your music everywhere, Linus. I was just asking you, you the same thing. Yes, you can. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm everywhere as well. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna be checking you out. Yeah. Hey, maybe in the universe you all can um you know collaborate something like that and it come to fruition something like it's that. It's way too I'm, it's I'm, way too easy to it's way too easy to make that happen if if you know if that's what it is. So I heard that. I mean, I got a yeah. question though. I got a question, Sean. So like, mm -hmm. 
What what made you come up with kisses? Well, kisses. Uh, you know, I was thinking about it. You know, at that time it was it was wrote a few years ago. Uh, it was a love. It was a a love sexual interest that I was dealing with at the time that made me write about it. So if um you listen to it, you'll see what I'm talking about. Yo, I can't wait to get kiss this girl again, rub this girl, again, talk to this girl again, be around this girl again, and dance with her, all of that. So you know, uh, every word from that is re- was really authentic. You know, what I mean? so it's a real uh, inspiration behind that song. So. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Yeah. Now what I'm not that, that now what's the name of that Uwe? That's the name of the song, Uwe? What's the name of that song you got? Uwe? Yeah, Uwe is a, um, it's called Uwe and mm-hmm. um, it's a drinky song actually. And um what ha- happened was I went to the I went to this bar and I'm like, when like when I come up with ideas, I literally have to go to that setting so I know what I'm writing about. I'm one of them people like mm-hmm. I'm real like people type people person and so um that's just like the song i came out with but and i had to go to the strip club to write the song i literally had to go to the strip club sit down with a pen and pad and write down everything i saw so ooh we and honestly even though i'm an artist and i do a lot a lot a lot of shows um i'm not a club person i guess that's why because i'm always doing so many shows the club ain't mm-hmm. even the same anymore but I went to the club and took my mind outside of business. And so when I was in there, this lady comes up and she was telling the bartender, she said, she says, uh, oh, we I fucked up. I mean, I messed up, but I want to give me one more drink. That's what she said. <laughs> so I'm like, it's how she said, ooh, we it made me say, a light bulb came on, like, oh, I'm gonna make a song called Ooh We talking about drinking. So that's actually where yeah. it came from. So inspiration comes. That, inspiration okay. comes everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it does. And I'm not even yeah. like that. That's what's so crazy. I'm not a drink like that. So to write a drinking song, that's why I said the setting is what helps me a lot when it comes to um writing music. Definitely. Mm. That's dope. That's dope. That is really dope. I love that. You know what mm. I mean? Um Man, I can't imagine how dope that video going to be if you put a video to that. You know what I'm saying? That would look crazy. Hey, man. Hey, <laughs> I said it, man. You got me. You got me want to go listen to this joint while we talking, man. Hey, as soon as I get off, I'm going <laughs> to check that joint out because I haven't heard it yet. So I definitely got to go to check it out for real. So uh, yeah, this this is yeah. uh, the name that's on your screen. Sean, is that what you find? I'm also looking for something to get on the music channel. Say it again. Yeah, you can when when you go when you go pull it up, you're gonna pull up when you go pull it up, it's pull up Nini Linus, not Big Nini. It's under Nini Linus. Any Nini in the space in the Linus. But listen, we, yeah, and but listen, we're trying to do a remix. So I think like an R and B singer on there would take it to another level. Cause I actually yeah. want to rap on a remix. On the on this version, I'm actually doing like a Southern Soul singing to it because that's what I made it for, Southern Soul, not R&B hip hop, but people like this so much, it can go either or, but for the remix, not a remix, I want to get in, I actually want to throw the, throw my, put my rap skills on that thing. So, okay. Yeah. Hey, I'm that's sorry, I'm let me inter- um, interrupt you all for one second. I appreciate everything that you're saying. I didn't want to interrupt while you were talking, but man, my legendary co-host is in the building now. And so let me please bring her in so, you know, saying we can get all proper introductions all the way around. You know, I'm talking about the one and only Mimi Acosta is in the building. And so I'm glad that she was able to join us. Peace to you, Queen. How you doing? Mimi? How y'all doing? Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, right. hey, I am wonderful. Hello, hello. hello. Big Mimi, Sean White. How y'all doing? Hey, hey. Slow I, honey, let me tell y'all something, right? I I am late, but I am here. <laughs> that's right. That's that's all that matters. That's it's all that matters. So much happening so- in this entertainment, this entertainment world is it's unbelievable. At one point, I had like you know nice little space, and then all of a sudden, here came all these projects booming. So I'm just going 100 miles an hour, but I'm gonna always plug in. That's the thing. The thing is to plug in. So here Absolutely. I am, plugged in. <laughs> 
And that's right. Um, appreciate you, Mimi, for baking it. You know what I mean? I already Thank know you. it. You know, it had to be an emergency if you wasn't here at seven because you always beat me here. You know what I'm talking yes, about? Yes, yes. But I got that <laughs> call like, about that Zoom, about that big project. I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I was like, let me swindle that because I got to do that. I got to do mm -hmm. that. But I got to do this too. You know, so you know how that goes. As soon as I plug that or that, I plug it in. Like, you got to go. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. I had no hey, time to get my background up, nothing. I was just going 100 miles an hour trying to get in <laughs> here. <laughs> no, nah, it's all all love. I appreciate you. You know what I mean? We just having a dope conversation. You already know about the topic. Just yes. painting original despite, you know what I mean? So with that being said, first, before I want you to speak about what that topic means to you, give them a little briefing on what you got going on, you know, and who you are, you know what I mean? Okay, well, I'm Mimi Acosta. Um, I am CEO and founder of MIA Entertainment Group, which is a TV, film, music production company here in Georgia. So um, I actually, I do a little of everything on sets, you know, whether it's creating projects, taking on projects, getting projects funded. So I'm doing a little bit of everything. I'm dealing with artists all over again. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm doing it because it's the love. I've been in the industry over 35 years doing everything I do from TV, film, and music. So um, that's just it. That's that's just me in a nutshell. Um, everyone that knows, I always say, just Google my name, Mimi Acosta, and my whole world comes up. And if, if there's anything that I'm doing out here that fits your bill, you know what I'm saying? Please, like, never hesitate to reach out to me. Call me. I, IG me. DM me. Do whatever you got to do to get a hold of me. You know, because that's, hey, that kind of rhymed a little bit. That's a hook. <laughs> I'm gonna have to replay this. I like that. I like the sound of that. <laughs> but um, yes. Yeah, so how to remain original despite it's a big thing because a lot of people lose themselves trying to be something that they're not to fit somebody else's, you know, to try to stick their peg in somebody else's circle. And it doesn't, it doesn't all the time work that way. For some people, it actually works until folks find out who they are. And then it's another thing. So my thing at the end of the day is just, you know, be who you are and come with all your authenticity and let people love you. Because at the end of the day, they got to love you to love what you're about, what you entertain or what you bring to the table. Absolutely. You know, yeah, absolutely. I see my lady fell off. Yeah, hopefully she be on right back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that works for me. There she but, go. No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Hey, beauty, how are you? Hi, I am wonderful. <laughs> yeah, so, so you know, and, and with, with all that, with all that, um, you know, that's 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 really it when it comes that's to a good thing. being original. Being original is a it's a big thing. Walking in the door and and me seeing and experiencing and feeling your vibe and knowing what you're about and getting all the you is what I want. You know, when you come in somewhere and you're not that, and then you start putting on this, oh, I'm glory, and then all your shit comes out. Oops, my bad. No, <laughs> I said it, show still. That's, that's the authenticity of me. I got a potty mod. I got to put that thing in check every now and then. But, you know, it comes, with, it comes with passion. You know how that goes. When you're passionately talking about things, you know, my, my potty mouth is not a potty mouth if I just want to curse like a sailor. My potty mod is a potty mod of passion. You know, I have passion for you guys and what you do and who you are and what you're becoming and all that good old stuff. So, so yeah, nah, be authentic because I'm authentic in all of me, honey. There's nothing okay. fake in this Mimi Acosta right here. If you know her, <laughs> you know that she is no nonsense. I am all love. You know, some people take me wrong and they're like, okay, she a little too much. I come with a lot. So I expect a lot, you know, and even if you're broken down and shocked up, I don't care. I want to know what's going on. Let's talk about it. How can we help each other out? What do you need? Whether it's food or clothing or shelter or whatever the hell, because everybody's going through something. We're all going through things. You know what I'm saying? Some people are going through things in secret and they don't want everybody to know because they don't want people to... Look at Tyler Perry. I always use that as an example. Do you think that he had anything to talk about when, when he talked about, you know, look, he slept in his car and he went from homeless to where he's at today? You know, at the end of the day, we all have a story. We all come with stories. So be your real self. People sometimes keep what they're going through right here. And then they feel like maybe when I get up here, I can talk about it. No, you want to let folks know what you know. Drag everybody with you. 
Because at the end of the day, when you get to that, that, that top, they're going to be like, oh, my gosh, I remember when and we were right there with her in the trenches. And it works that way. You know what I mean? I don't have a problem talking about the stuff that I go through. Because at the end of the day, there's somebody else that's watching me that's going, damn, I'm going through that too. Let me call Mimi and see how I can help out. Or this went, happened this way for me. Let's see how we can make that happen. So, you know, it's all about holding one another's hands and dragging each other up the ladder. That's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. That way. That way. And before we that really way. jump even back into this conversation where, you know, again, I want to welcome you all to, um, you know, if y'all want to ask anyone a question about like we were just talking about, like, you know, Sean, you was asking me need some questions. Vice versa, you was asking Sean some questions. Um, I welcome you all to ask Mimi some questions about um, any originality, anything like that. But first, let me pause and just shout out Stephanie Patisse, who I know she sincerely wanted to be here. And sometimes we can't control the emergencies that happen in our life. So let me just give a real brief. Again, Stephanie Batiste is CEO, owner of Atlanta Lady Hawks Incorporated, Stephanie Batiste Productions, Batiste Transportation, LLC, CFO, and TV event host and manager of Big Nini Lioness that's right here with us today. So, man, shout out and love to um Stephanie. Peace to you, Queen. I know you wanted to be here, and we wanted you here. Um, but, yeah, to jump right back into this, you know, just staying original, um, trying to, I'm trying not to repeat what I said before because it's such a broad topic that we can talk about. Mm. But, man, just, you know, just remaining original, it's just, you know, me – um, I'm gonna put it on you, Nini. <laughs> you know, say what comes to mind based on you know what everything has already been said. Okay, well, um, hi, Queen. <laughs> How are you? I am wonderful, love. How are you? I'm fine. I'm always messing with people out of love. So, okay, so. <laughs> How, what is one of your biggest hurdles as a female being in this business of what you do? Men coming at me thinking that, you know, I'm that one that they can get with whenever I walk into a door, especially if they don't know me. Cause this is the one thing that I, that I do know. A lot of the people that do know me in the industry, especially here in Georgia, you know, cause the circles are, the circles are small. It's a lot of people here, yes. It's a lot going on here, yes. But the circles of the people that can make a difference are pretty small. And in those circles, you still have people that think, oh, you know, I've never seen her before. Oh, she looks exotic. Oh, she's from the island. Oh, she got this thing going on. Oh, I want to try and get with her. I'm not the one. Like, and, and, and I'm really, really, um, I'm really, really with the, I'm not getting with nobody in the industry. I'd rather go with the garbage man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or the plumber. Or, or something, you know, not to, mm -hmm. not, you know, not to, but I'm just saying like, you know, industry people are really industry, they're really industry. It, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and that's my biggest thing. My biggest thing is the, and it's such a turnoff. It's such a turnoff because you could see somebody that, you know, that have a lot, like, I want to, I want to work with this person. Oh, I can't wait to get in that circle because damn, I've been wanting to work with this person forever. And then you get in that circle and then they're on the mini, when can I take you to dinner? Oh, you just messed up the whole thing. The mm -hmm. entire thing. The, when I say the entire thing, the entire thing. Because I have automatically lost all respect for you. And now I just really don't want to work with you. And I don't want to be forced to work with you. And I'm going to keep you at bay. The friend zone is the worst. The, the friend friend zone is the worst zone that you can plug somebody in when they come at you like that. Because at, at the end of the day, it's like, there's no respect anymore. And I don't, I don't like that. That's like, that is the biggest hurdle. And I don't have a problem with putting people in a pocket and still staying professional. I just know that everything that I had in me to, oh my God, I can't wait to be in their face. Oh, we're going to do this. We're going to make this happen. I, I got my book. I'm ready. I'm going to take my notes. Now I'm just laid back like, mm, <clears throat> if he had not done that, you know, so that's, that's it. It doesn't stop the business. It just puts me in a different pocket with certain individuals you know what i you know what i totally agree with you on that like i totally agree with you on it and i definitely understand what you're saying um being a woman in the business 
as I am myself. And I would say that would go with original. Why? Because you're not taking the bait like most women who trying to climb up the ladder. Yeah. So you stand original, originality, like ninja, you ain't getting this ass. Yes. And this is what I do. And if you be down with this type of type of business, then I'm not dealing with it. So right. I definitely definitely respect that can relate to it definitely thank you thank you and i actually is interesting because i shuffled myself out of those positions when i was younger because i come from the band world i used to sing with bands in the virgin Islands, so i come from the artist you know standpoint which is why i know how to deal with artists when it comes to either management or representation or where i'm going to take them because i've been there done that i was actually the ball was dropped on me which I see as a blessing because at the end of the day, that was in the 80s. And when you talk about the sharks were really out there at the mm -hmm. time, like they are now, but it took a whirlwind for it to spin around. And now, you know, look at what's happening to, to, to everybody now. You know, we don't want to call no names because we ain't trying to bring all that energy, you know. No. But so many things are happening to so many people now because of it. But back then, that same type of stuff was happening in the circles. And I saw it happening to me. You know, when I went to my first audition away from the band world, away from the islands, and I went to Miami and I had my first shot at sitting before, you know, someone, and I don't want to call the name because they're still big in the industry. And I, I had my audition and he was like, oh my God, I want to take you to dinner. And right there and then I knew this is not what I want to do. I want to be in the industry and it's not going to happen that way. And what's going to happen to me is that I'm going to go back home with this little baby girl I have because I'm not going to see myself losing myself or losing my child as a result in this industry because so let me take my butt back to the islands with this little baby, you know, and try to <laughs> figure this thing out because now I see what it is and it's ugly. And I am thankful to God that I had the spirit of discernment, even that young to know not to do that because I would have lost myself. And I made, I've probably made it big because I was running with the J-Lo and the Mariahs and all of them back then. So it could have happened for me because of the voice I had then. But then I was like, nah, this ain't for me. I'm good. Let me go back to work, you know, get myself in order, figure out what I want to do. And as I started doing that, then I was like, okay, now I'm molded into what I know I want and don't want in this industry. And I've stuck to my, I stuck the ground. I stuck to it. You know, but it's a good it's, thing to have good thing to have boundaries. That's right. Yes. Absolutely. No, I created a hell of a boundary. I created a brick wall <laughs> 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 with a lot of wire, Bob wire around that bad boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's yes, what's yes. <laughs> a lot of a lot of people wouldn't do that, though. A lot of people would take that role like, you know what? Shit. They offer me this. I got to do this. Blah, 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 blah. So, you know, it but takes a strong person to let it go. Of well, course, absolutely. look at them today. A lot of them are messed up. They got to go through a lot of counseling. The kids are all jacked up. They're all jacked up because the, the price that you have to pay to walk into that red room, right? it's a long-term process when it comes to healing. Mm. So I was like, I'm not going to ever settle for less and then have to be in that position where I'm losing it because of a door I walked into. No, I'd right. rather walk out the door. I was like, you know what? This audition was great. Thank you so much. I got to get back to my baby. And when I got back home, I was just like, I was sick. I was literally sick. Like, I need to go home. That's what I need to do. I need to stop all this industry stuff, whatever this stuff. Because that first initial appointment alone changed my entire life. Mm. Just changed it. And, you know, and it takes longer. But because I know that I no longer wanted to be, a, a, you know, an artist, I knew that I was going to be doing different things in the industry. And that's what I did. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Success doesn't mean having the big car and the big houses and all the money in the world. Success doesn't mean that. Success means being happy with yourself when you wake up in the morning and you're not answering to somebody forcing you to do things that you don't want to do. You know, yeah. my, my success is being at peace with me. It has nothing to do with anybody else. No kids, no family, no loved ones, no none of that stuff. It has to do with me and how I feel about me and the relationship that I have. Oh, my Bible is across the room. Uh, the relationship that I have with God. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I wake up in prayer and I go to sleep in prayer and I put everybody in prayer at all times. Like, trust me, I already got y'all names in my book. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate <laughs> I, that. Thank you. 
I, I, I put everybody mm-hmm. in prayer at all times because we all need that. That even that Absolutely. when you don't think that you're being prayed for, you're being looked out for, somebody's praying for you. So know that. And what, and what people got to understand is the creator, the one that created us all, he's the one that got the ultimate power. He or she or it or whatever you want to call it. That's, that's, right. that's, the, that's the one you need to be talking to. <laughs> That's right. And talk about look, talk, mm-hmm. talk about asking God to remove people from around you when you don't know how to do it yourself. Man, you talk to God about that. And watch how quick that person flee from your world. You want to know what happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, you know, it is. I know I know who protects me. And, uh, you know, that's what that's what matters. You know, that's right. That's right. I heard that. Man, yeah. we, we really have some um, great, you know, what I'm saying narratives today. You know, what I mean, when it comes to this topic and I appreciate all of you all and you know what I mean I'm kind of late in the process but sometimes I don't usually do this but you know what I mean the actual definition of original say present or existing from the beginning first or earliest so what does that mean to you all briefly when it comes to just the true definition of what they say original is in the Webster dictionary um I'm gonna start with Nini real quick and then um go to Sean and then Mimi please mm-hmm. So Nini, it says present or existing from the beginning, first or earliest. To me, that seems like you're a trendsetter, and mm-hmm. you know you you you're the first to do it, but you're not the first to think it. You're just the first who is actually able to get it out there first, because great minds think alike. And me being a Pisces. Like and I'm gonna oh, I'll say this on all our, our panels and interviews I do. Being a Pisces, a water sign, we are very intuitive when it comes to things. So it's like our creativity matches what our intuit our intuition. So being original has to be very important on that level. And just being as an artist alone and doing the things that I do, even when it comes to writing comedy jokes. Like when I went to San Francisco and I performed, you know, I did my comedy and stuff like that. It's like at the end, the people were saying, she's the future queen of comedy. We got all that, we got all that. But at the same time, I liked it, the title, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, but I'm being needy. Like I'm bringing my, 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 own, my own jokes, stuff I sat down and woke up out of my sleep and wrote or stuff I just saw that I felt that was funny to talk about. And so it's like, to me, being original is being the leader. But in order to be a leader, you had to be a follower. But out, outside of being a follower, you had to learn your originality out of that, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I appreciate yes. that. Okay. Sean, what does that mean to you? when it says present or existing from the beginning first or earliest? Well, I mean, I, w- I would say like, I would, like all of the artists I listened to before me, like a Stevie Wonder or a Joe or Carl Thomas, you know what I'm saying? You get little tidbits of all of those and then you put, mush them all together and you bring your own out. That would that, be your originality because it's not exactly theirs. It's a slight uh, variation that makes it original. That's what I would say, because, you know, you got to be inspired by someone. You know I mean, somebody has inspired you uh, when you come into the whatever it is that you're doing. So i got artists that inspired me. So I take a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and then I craft it and, and make my own sound. So, you know, that's what I would say. Yes, sir. That way. Me, mm-hmm. me. Um, what does that mean when it says present or existing from the beginning? first or earliest? So hmm, I'm going to say this about that because everything that happens doesn't happen for the first time. It's just the world when it's a circle. It's just like this. The only thing that's different is just the times. The times is what's different. I might do the same thing that somebody did 20 years ago, but I put my spin on it, you know, just like Big Nini said. You know, yeah. you put your own spin on it and you make that original. So from the beginning of time, let's just say me, for instance, because, you know, I always talk about myself because I can't talk about everybody else, but I know myself better than anybody else. Um, from the beginning of time, from just being young, knowing what I wanted, know how I wanted to do. You know, I see this person doing that. Ooh, I like that. Let me see how I could put a spin on that and make that happen. And it all started with like, you know, actresses and stuff like that. And, you know, the Spanish 
there's a Spanish artist. Her name is Edie Chacon. I don't know if you guys ever heard about her, but if you ever look her up, she was like this hot sauce, Latin, real spicy, you know, loud. Just everybody just love her because of just who she was and how she moved. And, and I was like, you know what? I love, I love confident women. So I've always followed confident women until they show me why I shouldn't follow them. <laughs> you know? And then it's like on to the next thing and on to the next thing. And, you know, so so from back then, I had this own spin on different things to make it happen and make it happen for other people, because that was the thing, too. I knew that if I wasn't going to be in the industry myself, I was going to learn as much as I can about it and everything in every area. So if somebody had a question, if I didn't know it, I was going to write it down and write your number down and make it happen, call you back and let you know, hey, look, this is what you need to do, or this is who you need to call, or call this person, I told them about you, da, da, da. So that original thing to me is, it's, it's not so much like of originality as much as it is just being you, doing you, you know, like uh, Big Nene said, being a follower, but then you become a leader because now you got people that want to be like you. Right. You know, yeah. you just got to be really careful with who you're following <laughs> because Absolutely. you could be you could be following a shining star that's not a shining star at all. But yeah. I heard that. Great, 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 great example. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> I was actually going to take the same approach, but I didn't use the quote, you know, nothing's new under God's son. You know what I mean? Right. And so, you know, that's been said before and we have to say it again um, because, you know, everything has been done and just a different way, you know what I'm saying? Right. And so I understand, and that's, but I think that the more simple that you keep it, that's what I was saying at the beginning of the show, um, how I mm -hmm. how I create what I do, you know what I'm saying? I just always think keeping it simple. So I believe that the more complicated you get, sometimes you end up, you know, being a, a copy print of something else because right. nothing's too complicated like that unless you freaking, you know, then did something create electricity like Einstein or something like that. But, <laughs> but beyond that, you know, what I'm saying? it's just like, we really just got to keep it simple. And then that's where you find your true originality, I believe. Yes. But, you know, we come to that time, the, the, the saddest point of the show where the show has to, unfortunately, you know, end. And then until next time, you know, the last Thursday of every month, you already know we're here at the square table where you can get back in your square, only the square table myself. I said it and the legendary Mimi Acosta. But first, before we go, I have to, um, you know what I'm saying, in one minute or less, please tell the people again, Nene, and then after you say this, I have something to say to you. But in one minute or less, please remind people how they can follow you, what's your new songs, what's out there, what's going on. I know you even got an um, event coming up, right, that you'll be part of. Let them know. Hold on, you Ooh, muted. You muted. You muted. You muted. You're muted, honey. Okay, wait. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> yes, it's your girl, Big Nini Linus, Fleet DJ's host. We were World Connected. We break records. Also, the founder and CEO of Raw Feelings. Also, the host of um, the co host of New Music Thursdays, uh, KMPH Radio out of Minnesota. I'm a recording artist. R&B hip hop as well as a southern soul artist. Also have a star daughter, Anaya Love Note. I'm the mother of Anaya Love Note. And um, you can find me on Big Needy Lioness, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, or the other pages, Lioness Woods. Instagram, TikTok, and all the other pages, Linus Woods, Big Nitty Linus. You can't miss me. You got any more questions? You need to Google me. That's the only way you go find your girl if you got any more questions. <laughs> <laughs> that way, that way. And then what's that that yacht? Aren't you doing like a yacht event or something like that? Yes, April. Okay, okay. April 6th, because that's coming up. I will be opening up for uh, Mr. Cheeks, the Lost Boys from, from the Lost Boys. Um, Black Boogie, who's seen that song? Blame it on the Henny, that song. Um a famous twins, KRS One's dancers will be there. Myself will be performing. That's April 6th. And then April 20th, with my manager, Stephanie Batiste, we will be bringing my show, A Raw Feelings, to the yacht with a live audience, live taping with um, after party VIP only um, and um, with live performances from various um, artists and a couple of legends that will be on the show. 
Nice. Okay, great. Great. Oh, Congratulations. Oh. Down the list. So we're going to leave it right there because that's what's coming up in April. Oh, yeah. Let's not okay. forget. I got a part in the movie. But I just ended it. I landed a part of the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm super excited. So shout out to my manager, Stephanie oh. Matias, for that right there. Congratulations. Yeah, no, congrats. That's awesome. congratulations. I yeah. know that's something that you wanted for a while. Um, real quick before we move on to Sean. Uh, first, are you all getting delayed from me? I'm getting delayed. I feel I hear a little bit. Yeah. That's why I'm okay. One second. Give me one second, please. It's, it's gone now. Please. It's, it's gone, gone now. now. It's good now. It's good. It's perfect now. Yes. Okay, I don't know what happened. But anyway, <laughs> um, real quick before we move on to Sean, Nene, Big Nene, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just grateful for, you know, you being in my life, you know, the relationship that we have. You know, I'm very proud of you, young lady. You've been doing it. It's back, right? It started again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's back, right? I guess he's coming back. <laughs> oh, I heard that echo. Yeah, there's a little echo. Yeah, there's echo. You know what? I want to say it's from me because I'm in an open room like right now. Let me see. Mm. No, no, because you sound good. Oh. I can't hear you now. Right. But we can't hear you. Come back. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me now? You know yeah. what? It's okay, yeah. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ah, no, it's not. Ah, no, it's not. Yeah, some some echo. <laughs> yeah, my apologies, y'all. The um interrupt. Is it still there? Well, not right. Not from you, no. Okay. I don't hear it. Um, Maybe I need not to say nothing. Oh, there you <laughs> go. Okay, no, it's good now. Yeah, it's good. Okay. All right, well, real quick, let me hear it and do this before, you know what I mean, um, anything happened. But again, you know, I'm really proud of you, Nene. You know, I'm grateful to have you in my life. You know, we have a great relationship. You know what I mean? I still remember the interview that we did. Um, That was two about two years. I want to say almost two years ago, maybe three years ago. Um, No, it was What's this, 2024? Yeah, three years ago, that was 2021 in April. Matter of fact, you know what I'm saying? When we did that interview. Um, and so I'm just really grateful for you and just proud of everything that you're doing. Um, I've seen you continue to grow. And um, I just want you to know, just keep going hard, keep pushing. And, you know, you really um, have put your foot into this Southern blues. Was it Southern music? What's the name of the genre? <laughs> <laughs> It's actually a southern soul, and, and but but wait a minute before you say that, I put my foot into southern soul because I'm getting older, but I'm still doing my my hip hop. I'm still getting booked for my hip hop shows, and my hip hop shows is what keep me um doing um hip hop shows like like I did not so long ago open up for MC Light, so it like it keeps me doing the hip hop side of me that's inside of me that I refuse to let go. I probably be like 90 years old, probably be rapping grandma. I don't know, but either or that side of me is not going anywhere. But yes, I did tap into the Southern soul side and I got two songs that's on a radio in different states that's actually on a radio radio in rotation with Southern soul. It was new for me. Um, my producer said I should do it. And me, I'm always up for new challenges. So I jumped in it and this where I'm at with it now. So it's like, yeah. No, so I was gonna say that that you are definitely legendary already when it comes to oh, here we go. <laughs> Lion, you might you might need to mute your uh, audio. I'm going to. One, two, one, two. Hello? There yeah. You go. Yeah. Okay. I muted it like you said, and then I just unmuted myself. No, no, yeah. No, no, no. no. That was, I was lightness. Lightness, yeah. When you with her, she got a lot of echo in, in her uh, connection. Mm. Okay. Um. So, yeah. So, no, nah, again, I was going to just acknowledge that you are a legend 
when it comes to hip hop, you know what I mean? You really made your mark and you are making your mark. You really put your foot, kick the foot in the door with the Southern soul genre. You know what I mean? Very proud of you. I pray that, you know, God continue to watch over you and all your family. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I'm proud of your daughter, to all the moves that she's making. And um, just, you know, your whole family is just, you know, may God be with you as you continue to travel the world doing your thing. And again, shout out to your manager, Stephanie Patisse. Now, with that being said, <laughs> um, let me move on to Sean. You know what I mean? Please let them know how, again, they can find you, you know, what you got going on all within a minute, please. And, um, you know, your next shows. Okay. All social media, you can catch me at I am Sean White. That's I am S-E-A-N-W-Y-T-E. Shout out to uh, my manager, Lisa E. Uh, we got the big pre-Mother's Day thing going on with you. We got about four, We got about two tours that's coming up. We just ain't inked it yet, so I don't want to talk too much about it. Got Movie Road that's coming into play. So this year is going to be amazing, you know what I'm saying? And things are coming daily to us, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm writing for a few artists as well. So, you know, I'm just thankful and grateful that I'm in a position that I'm in independently, you know what I'm saying? So I'm in full control of what I'm doing, me and my manager. So uh, you can catch me on all social media. I am Sean White. Uh, check out my album Kisses. Working on a new album now. Be uh, releasing it maybe June, mid April, June, something like that. So, thank you so much for having me, brother. Man, all day you already know. One love. Shout out to your manager Lisa E, a good friend of mine. You know what I mean. And if it wasn't for her, she I wouldn't have had a chance to pleasure. You know, saying building this relationship with you. You know what I mean, brother. Really proud of you. You know what I'm saying. I also. Remember our interview that we did, that was early again when I started my show. You know, you was, was one of my early guests. Um, and man, you know what I mean? I don't miss a beat when it comes to, you know what I mean, watching what other people is doing. I might miss, I might not see everything, but what I do do is I listen and I pay attention. And it wasn't necessary, but you did it. And so when we did one year from now, it was a touch of green event series which you performed at and did an excellent job you was Appreciate one of the that, rare bro. artists that you did both weeks you know what i'm saying because you're that good and we wanted you there two weeks in a row you know what i'm saying but when you, you did your interview you were the only person that actually said shout out to i said the management and said thank you mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying now it wasn't necessary you know what i mean and i didn't ask nobody to do that but i pay attention i listen and i know who say what you know what i'm talking about and just for you to do that, you know, I'm like, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to whatever I ever do. I'm always going to try to book Sean straight like that. Yeah, you know, you, you know, I'm rocking with you, man. We've we been we've been rocking for a minute. You know, I got you, dog. All day. Yes, sir. Word is bond. But man, one love to you, brother. You know, what I'm saying? I pray to God continue to watch over you and all your family and, you know, both your manager, Lisa, as you all continue to just travel the world as you are an international um, singer. You know, what I mean, proud of you, man. And. Just, man, keep doing your thing. And you know what I mean? Um, you already know if you need something, just holler back anytime. Absolutely. Like Absolutely. Yes, sir. Okay, so, ladies, is on. that it? Right. Yeah. Hold on. Let me move on to me, me last, but never least. You know what I mean? Um, again, remind them how they can support your platform and um, and anybody that you want to speak about real quick in the, within a minute. Okay. So at MIA Entertainment Group on IG. And Mimi Acosta on Facebook, Mimi Acosta 2 on Facebook, Google Mimi Acosta. Um, shout out to my partner, 88 Fingers. We are here working on a huge project, leveling up Lyric. We have our girl, um, Lyric from the Bad Girls Club, season two. She's here in Georgia now. We're doing big things, working with her music, um, getting her in film projects. Got a whole bunch of stuff going on <laughs> that I wasn't ready for, but I better be ready because it's coming. So um, there. And I said it, I'm gonna tell you something. Thank you so much for never, ever, 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 ever giving up on your girl. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I am never late. I'm always the first one here. So trust me, I felt bad the whole time I was on that other call. I was just like, I gotta get to my show. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm just, I'm just happy to be here and, and thank you so much. And guys, it's been definitely a pleasure, even though it was short, it was sweet and you will not be forgotten. One thank love you. and God Thanks, bless. Bro. I appreciate y'all. That's right. Appreciate it. And again, you know, I always got to give you your flowers before we go. Thank you again, Mimi, for everything that you do. You know, I love you straight like that. And, you know, um, every time I ever called on you, always found a way to be there despite, you know, again, I know I know your history, you know, what I'm saying respectfully, I don't know every single thing that you've done. You know what I mean? Because I wasn't there. You know what I mean? But I know a lot of what you've done and for you to just show up and, 
and always be there. You know, when I call on you, you know, saying you hosted many of my shows, you were a host of this show, and now we have a new show coming up. So shout out to Food Chronicles with me, me, and I say that it'll be coming at the end of um, what is that, May? So the anime. you know, what I mean, we're gonna be yeah, the anime. And I'm gonna be we're in gonna be... Chicago. I'll be in Chicago making it happen. Hey, that's what's <laughs> up. <laughs> Shot down in the building, you already know. But I love you, yes. Mimi, and love you too, and this man. is a rare, a rare occasion where I have had the pleasure of interviewing each one of you all. So that was that's special for me. You know what I'm saying? That I've been able to, you know, what I'm saying just hear all of you all's stories. And so, you know, just the deeper appreciation and love that I have for each one of you all. Um, I pray that you continue to um be watched over you and all your family as you travel the world as well and do all the big things that you're doing, Mimi. And um, you already you. know, I got your back all day. One love. Thank you. One love. Salute to you all. Thank you all for being here today um, as we spoke about original, remaining original, <laughs> despite. Man, this was a great show. I hope you all, when you all see it, you rewind this because it's worth it. Yes. All right. Y'all be safe out there. Blessings. And you already know my name, Celebrity Interviewer. I said it and I got these shirts for sale. That's all I got. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> That's all. Peace out. All right. Peace Take out. Care. All right. Peace. The Square Table, Talk Show Season 3.